Gunny, gunny. There's so many questions. Hold on, go ahead and unmute yourself. And then go, I know you can hear me. And go ahead and turn on the camera as well. Oh, you got that. Yes. Hello. How's it going? It's going. How are you, Ann? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Where Where is the name? I have never heard of the name Gunny Gunny. Where is that? Is that like relevance to guns or bunnies? Because I have both here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a name given to me uh, as a kid. In my uh, like from it. one of my old uh, one of my best my childhood best friends. Um, and um, oh. yeah, I'm actually a tattoo artist in New York City. And uh, shut up. Yes, and I started. I started with my original name, which is James. You know, the one my mom gave me. James. Uh huh. Yeah. And then, I, yeah, yeah. Due due to unfortunate circumstances, I had to uh, change my name, and so I, so I just decided to use uh, Gunny. You know, there was another James in the area that was, uh, you know, doing not so good yeah. work. <laughs> 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 I get it. I get it. Well, I'm I'm from down where well, originally from like Houston, Texas. So down in the middle of it. So I understand it. So but currently live I live in the middle of nowhere, like right on the Louisiana border. So we are essentially as like southern as you can get right now. So are you ready? Okay. I have a question for you. Are the did you tattoo your eyeballs? I, I did tattoo my eyeballs, yeah. I knew you did. Yeah, I knew you did. Yeah, they look because they look clean. People that don't do it and they just put the contacts in, it doesn't look clean. So right. good job. Right. Did you do it Thanks. yourself or did you have somebody else do it? No, I had the guy uh, who created the procedure uh, to do them for me. Of course, you know. Shut yeah. up. Really? Yeah. No one. No, there's okay. no one. Yeah. No. Well, you got to. Okay. Later on, obviously, I'm going to be channeling right now, but you got to email me or message me like what that and how it works and stuff like that. I'd be very interested to see and learn. Oh, about certainly. That. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. Let me know. Well, from one person to another, welcome in. Let me kind of tell you how this works. Um, okay. And that way you kind of know what's going on in my brain. So number one, obviously it is, ooh, I would love to look at your chart too. Like, I would love to look at your chart. I, I'll look at that in just a second, even maybe probably before we start channeling. So hold on. Let me kind of like clear my brain real quick. Hold on. Why, 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 why? Okay, I have a notepad, by the way. I'm not taking notes on you. I'm just scribbling all over the place, okay? okay. Um, this is recorded. Let me make sure it's recording. Okay, good. good. It is, okay. I'm going to send you the recording tomorrow morning. So um, as we do this, what are we doing? Um, essentially, we're feeling who's around you, um, and we're saying, can you please come in and talk to us? When okay. they talk, how do they talk? Well, essentially, they come in because they love you. They're connected to you. They're using your energy, but... We say, I love you so much. Please hop in Amy's brain and play with it and use like computer. That's all that oh. goes. When they do it, they talk in four different ways. The first way is that they give me all these signs and symbols. So and this is actually how they talk to you too. You just, most people just don't know how to put English to it or words to it. So they'll give me signs and symbols like a uh, 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 palm tree means that they're from Florida or like a uh, uh, grape means that they're from California, stuff like that. Um, oh. They'll put all those in a line and they will make a sentence. The next wow. thing is that they will try to, oh yeah, yeah. So if you ever get like a random image in your hand, it doesn't always mean that. Like sometimes it can also mean a sentence. Um, the next thing is that they will try to put me in a situation that could have happened to them, could have happened to you, or will happen to you by using my experiences, YouTube videos that I've seen, movies, infomercials that I've watched, or like other people's sessions as well. They'll try to put these memories and recall them in a line to tell a story. Now, you have to remember, like I said, I'm from Houston, Texas. I don't believe in snow. I've never really been above Oklahoma. I've been to New York once and it was nice. great, right? But I've never been out of the country. So essentially, if you ask me something like, you know, what did my neighborhood look like in the Bronx? I have no idea. I know there are yeah. brownstones up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. And, and good food. So that can be really difficult for me. Um, But we can probably get close. The, the last two are that they will try to essentially talk in only feelings. And this is how they talk to you. So they will come in and they'll make me feel something like what it was like for me to love my dad when he was alive. I'll be like, oh, there's a loving father energy here. That's how I come yeah. up with those sentences. And the last thing is words. Sometimes they will just come in and they will just talk. And um, I know we're wanting to channel one person, um, but I can tell you there's a couple here. So we may kind of just hold on. 
hold on, we're going to kind of go all over the place a little bit. And I want to look at your chart before I leave too. So all I really need for you to do this entire time is as we go through this, you just say, Amy, hell yeah, what you're telling me makes sense or no, it doesn't. And the reason for that is because I'm obsessed with getting things right and understanding how they talk. But I have to have you say yes, because when they put all that stuff in my brain and I turn it into English and you go, yes, I go, holy shit. OK, so my translation that I came up from what they gave me makes sense to him. OK, okay. So that's all that means. OK, and if it doesn't fit tell me no. Don't try to fit it. The reason for that is because sometimes the symbols and the stuff that I get, they are literal. Sometimes it's not the inference that I'm giving it. So we'll go back and relook at it. So stay with me. Um, somebody's having a, a little bit of a party in my head, which is great. That's good energy. Um, they're just saying, yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine. I said, oh, well, that's good. That's essentially just what I got in my head. I go, okay. They uh, they keep coming up to you and giving you a handshake or keep coming up to you and doing this to you, which means like they're coming up and like greeting you or they're that close enough to want to come and touch hands with you. And they say that you're looking great. That's essentially, it's almost like we're just going through a reunion right now. Hold on. There is a female entity here for you um we'll figure that out later it's kind of more in the back i think they like let this other person through um hold on oh God. do you have anything to do with what hold on. you don't have one oh this is so hard this is so difficult. There's there's a female here. She's trying to talk and I'm trying to push her back. You don't go to Florida a lot, right? I do go to Florida a lot. Yeah. Oh, you do. OK. Hey, OK. Somebody keeps there's a female entity that's here. She's she I would say she'd go into like the older category, not young. Um, mm -hmm. But she keeps saying she likes to go with you. This could be in a mothering type situation. But there's weird because there's almost like the space which means like maybe you don't really know her or like she wasn't a big part of your life. So don't try to fit anything yet. This is just part of the puzzle that they're coming up with. And they go, oh, I go with them to Florida. And the only two places I really know in Florida is Miami or, or Orlando. And so they keep just talking about down south in that area. And oh. they say that you don't have anything to do with. Um, you don't. Oh. Um. Do you ever go to Puerto Rico? No, no, never been. Never been. Uh, no. Odd. No. Okay. Odd. Yeah. yeah. They keep just showing me plantains. I guess that goes along with Florida over bananas. That goes along with Florida over and over again. So pause really if, quick. Hmm. If I may hey, just, What were you going to say? I'm yeah. sorry. I don't want to interrupt. If, if I may just add, uh, the woman who raised me, who helped raise me, was a Cuban lady. And she took me down to uh, Florida when I was six years old. It was a... a larger you know set woman uh named uh, yes. Amin. yes yes yeah. yeah and she has since crossed over though right yes um well i never yes. knew but when i asked my mom she, my mom says she had to have i okay yeah because she keeps showing me plantains or platinos and i'm yeah. like maybe this is i'm like but he's not puerto rican like what is this i would have to say it can go with over there in that area so um i'm almost gonna say yes absolutely okay yeah. and i think one day you'll figure it out but yeah very mothering very nice um and keeps talking about that over and over again so that would be a main memory um yeah. hold on so you have this guy what did you did you ever have a daughter yeah i do have a daughter yeah really okay sorry there's two they're both talking it almost feels like they're taking up two parts of my brain at the same time one of them says i love his daughter or i watch his daughter and he says yeah 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 she's cool she's good she's good she's good so they're, they're having two conversations they say that uh oh my god stop but she doesn't have a baby yet right no she's young she's young oh, she's still she is young okay oh, yeah. yeah he goes like this he says he says um he says, man, I can't wait till we get to call you grandpa. Like, just like joking about that. Like someone, and I was like, I don't, he's not a grandpa yet. None of that. No. He says that, tell me what, hold on. Are you not with the daughter's mom anymore? No, we just recently separated uh, a year ago at the 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. 
okay, okay. He goes, um, I said, so what about mom? You know, how are they doing together with him? He goes, he goes, man, he says that you're um, back on track looking. I was like, oh, okay. So it's separate. Um, and he says, uh, interesting. To, on to be honest, it should have probably ended a while before, but you were trying to be very loyal, I guess. Yeah. That's what he's saying. He says that you have a very good heart and that you're a very good person and that you are trying your best. I like you. You have a very good soul. I just want to let you know that. And he says that, tell me, what about him? <laughs> and so this Reggie person we're trying to connect with, you never got to say goodbye to him? I did, but um, I, on his last days, I had, to, I had to go to work. I had to fly back to New York That's City and oh okay yeah this is all he says he says he goes um i said was he there with you when he crossed because he feels like this very like protector of you and he says no 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 he says he wasn't there when i crossed he says but he knows how much i care about him essentially yeah. so i'm like oh okay and he says that uh what 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 were you were you it's almost like you were still talking shit even like at that point of his passing in a good yeah. way not yeah. terrible but just like going back and forth he oh did he like partially raise you well my dad's always been around um yeah yeah, yeah he, he's yeah. always been around yeah um yeah it is yeah he just he, goes up like this i said so what about you who were you i said were you a friend or or were you like dad or something he goes no 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 he says i was there i was there i raised them i raised them and i go yeah. oh okay but then he puts this separation. So I was like, maybe he's like there. And like, I don't know. He says that. Tell me. Hold on. No wonder. So you have the mother figure, the Cuban one. And then you have dad that shows up all at the same time. I know that they're not married. But I can also tell you that your dad. He did like the Latin women. You said did it? Uh, did, did he like Latin women? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh... That's what he keeps. <laughs> oh, yeah. He I mean, goes like been... this. He says, he says that this woman that is like your mother figure here as well. He goes, he says, oh, man, she may have been like this way. He says, but now she's like that. And I'm like, stop hitting on dead ghosts, you know, at yeah. the same time. And so he's, he's, yeah, he's being like... very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he says that, oh, why? So why don't, do you have, no, you don't anymore. I guess not. He put his name on your back. Why don't you have your dad on your back? Like a tattoo? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, not, not sure. I have my, I have the Can top you, of my, uh, most of my body's covered this way in black. So I, I know. I know. That's why he goes like this. He says, is there any way that like down the line you could do something small and like put him? I don't know if you want if you're that big of a perfectionist where you want it all the way. But could you put something like maybe like right here showing that like dad has your back? Well, that's uh, that's funny. I, I already plan to do that. Um, I just haven't gotten to it. Uh, so since since my body's uh, mostly like black like this, solid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I have what I have in my face are, uh, you know, scarf uh, scarification, mm -hmm. uh, which is a part I plan to do a, a small scarification piece, you know, dedicated to him over the black. Yes. Box. That's what yes. I that OK. Say. Good, good, good. Yeah, I would have to say yes. He was showing me white like ink, but that's of course, that's the only thing I know. Right. I don't know everything. And so I was like, I don't think he's going to get dad and white ink on his black. I don't I don't think so. But it's the scarification. Yeah, that's, do it. That's a very good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, as much as a scar would look like white on over the black. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good job. Ooh, you got to send me a picture of that when it's done. I'd be very interested to see that. Um, it's very cool. He yeah. says, "What? Tell me, why?" Oh. Hold on. Why was he like not? He's a very honorable man. Um, were you helping, like? weird he doesn't want to take your money at all um never would you like no no i said it seems like your son is pretty good and successful at this point he says he's doing good but he always feels like he needs to do more i said yeah doesn't everybody 
and I said, was he helping you um, out financially? Because he's talking about being like struggling or like, you know, obviously not feeling very well the last few months of his life and like going through a lot of shit. And he says, he says he has you offer him cash. And he says, no. And I said, oh, OK. I said, so that, you know, it didn't happen like that. And he what? Interesting. He keeps showing me the thing of like turning turning life around for you, though. I don't know if you ever like were backwards, but he's like very proud of you. That's good. He's very proud. of Yeah, very proud of you. And tell me what, what, what about him? How? How did you get down there? Hold on. I... He's funny. He never really went gambling, though, right? Nope. Yeah, because he doesn't like to spend money like that. Yeah. <laughs> he. So I'm going to Vegas next week. Uh, it, the, the only reason why I'm saying this is because he goes like this. He says, um, and I don't gamble either. I'm doing, going to do a show. And oh. he goes, man, he's, he says, I'll go to Vegas with you. I said, why? He says, I didn't have any money to do like that. And he says, and I didn't want to either. He goes, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go with you. And I go, oh, OK, you can come with me and hang out. And then he showed me things like Atlantic City and all that. I'm like, all right, I like it. And so he's like enjoying his life. And he Good. says, oh, tell me, what about him? Hold on. What? Oh. Oh, OK. So are you refocusing on your health more right now? Well, yeah, I'm constantly, uh, you know, doing that. Uh, you know, I, he knows, uh, you know, Jim, Jim is my like Jim, place. That's uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's what he keeps saying. And you don't smoke though, right? No, no. Um, I, uh, Good. occasionally like vape and stuff, but uh, I, I know he okay. didn't like. Yeah, that's what he says. He goes like this. He says, my son, and then he put um, smoke or vape or whatever it is, and he shoved it out of your hand. He says, but he's not addicted to that. And I said, good. And then he says, he really focuses on his, which is yeah. health. And I said, okay, good. Um, yeah. And he's there with you. Are, do you go to like an actual like meathead gym? Now I am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know exactly what they look like, but he just went in and he showed me where... He essentially showed me Planet Fitness and he put an X over it. And I go, oh, OK, so it's not like. a Yeah, Planet no, it's, it's a bodybuilder's gym. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Huh? So he goes with you. He goes with you. That would That's... totally be a thing. Wow. And he. What about him? Oh. He just showed you. What? He's showing me Muhammad Ali which is very interesting. Um, he, but I'm asking, did you ever do boxing? <laughs> well, I did, yes. And he was a boxer oh. for many years. And all Stop. the kids, yeah, all the kids in the neighborhood growing up used to call him Muhammad Ali because he looks like almost identical to him. He's just more dark skin. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. You saw me going like this. So he had, he showed me an image. It was like, I'm him. And he has his ar arms up and he says, uh, fly yeah. like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And he keeps saying that. I'm like, okay. And then he puts like the boxing shoes on you and he put them on him too at the same time. I go, oh, okay. Huh. And he says like, that's what we do. Your dad is uh, essentially in heaven. He's in a higher vibrational state. He's not stuck. He's not in a bad area. He feels like, a very light, airy, fun spirit. And what? Oh, wow. What do you mean by that? <sighs> Hold on. Interesting. And the ex-wife, she's talking to somebody else now? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, but I'm, I assume so. Okay. OK, all he says is essentially. Like. I don't know, that's not the best word to say it. Um, I do feel like in a way that she I mean, and obviously I don't think it's going to come back together this life, but y'all do feel like a very karmatic um, couple, meaning like soulmate type of interesting thing. But I don't feel like it's going to like come back together. But essentially he's saying like, don't be jealous. I don't think I said, I don't think he is jealous. And he said, that's it. That's what it is. Um, and he says, um, 
like good things coming to you, good things coming to you. Um, and he keeps talking about that with you. And okay. he says that, tell me, what? You have a sister? Me? Uh, well, yeah. I, yes, yes, I do, but I never met her. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? What happened to her? Uh, she was born way before my older she brother. She was. Yeah, and I, I just yeah. never, it, she, it was way out of my, like, time, you know. Yeah, right? oh, okay, okay. Now, this, and she is still alive, though, currently, though, right? I believe so. I'm, I've never met her. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you, mm -hmm. I don't know how this happens. I don't know how this works, but I think on some level that there is going to be something coming through the grapevine that that sister is going to cross over in like the next two years. I don't oh. know why they just went, they put cancer inside of my head, but then they put very fast. And so what do we do with this information? Well, just wait to see it come down the grapevine and you go, wow, that was said. That's all you do. That's all you do with it. Um, okay. Because there's nothing you can really like do about it. And if you go up to this person, you say, you know, this is what's happening. Then sometimes we can have a self-fulfilling prophecy. We like worry ourselves into it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So hold on. Dad, what? What about you? Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. He's talking about. You're so good. He's just talking about how I guess he really, really enjoyed that last time um, that you were with him. Really, really, really. So he essentially was like bedridden at that point. Yes, he was. That's all he says. He, I said, were you walking around? I said, he could probably lift your ass up and carry you anywhere. And he goes, no, no, no. He says that he was bedridden. And he, he makes me hear you say, like, Dad, do you want anything? Do you need anything? Oh, Meaning like... No. Yeah, that, I spent I spent the last three days with him, uh, asking him that, and yeah, 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 That's yeah. He knows he, mm -hmm. and he says that he loves you and he appreciates you. Um, yeah, you you're a badass. Oh, it's very very cool. And you're what, Dad? Come here. I don't know. What is October? What would October have anything to do with anybody? Uh, well, that's my daughter's birthday. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. All the way. Okay. I'm asking him. I said, I said, so anything like um, cool or like birthdays or anything like that? And he goes, October. And I go, oh, okay. And then it feels very, very light. So that's almost like an acknowledgement to your daughter, like a nod to her saying that he knows yeah. about that. And he says that, tell me, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Is somebody like a, when is that? May, June? Hold on. Really? Somebody keeps telling me that they're a cusp, meaning like their birthday is like the 20, 20th through like the 25th. Um, but it almost feels like it would be coming up. And do we have anything to do with like either May to June? Or like July to August. I don't think the July to August one. Do you have any idea? Well, my birthday is May 26th, so that's coming up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good job. Good job. Sorry, I'm asking about birthdays. Good job. Yeah, that's total. Look at that. Look how specific that was. 21st through the 26th. That's pretty good job, Dad. Um, yeah. And he... Just because the only thing he said is he said how um, you act like a, a Taurus, mm -hmm. but he says that you take on the other signs of like, which is this Gemini, which is this talkative. Now, do they know astrology? No, but they know the energy in my head and they know how to pick that up and use it that way. OK, so okay. but yeah, he knows. So he's saying happy birthday to you, essentially. And oh. he says that. Oh, hold on what and you do take pre-workout yes i do yes quit that shit yeah. i don't i never tell anybody to quit that shit i never do because my husband would take it i i took it once i thought i was gonna die but anyways um he he went through and he said um i said is there anything that you want to tell your son that's like a big big deal and he gave me this feeling of like having a rush yeah. and i was like is he doing meth and he says no and i'm like what is this and he made me hear yeah and i go ah i know yeah. what this is and he's talking about how that is it's like 
he shows me an image of like if somebody is doing this and they have a heart attack. Okay. And so he's saying like stop it. Now I'm not telling you it happens this year, but the way he makes me feel is like if we stop it now or at least like wean down or something a little bit that it will make you live, you know, that 10, 20, 30 years whatever it is. Whereas if we continue going at like the rate we're doing, I mean continue to work out, bust your ass, do it. But it's almost like in like three years or four okay. years, like it causes us that or we have this issue. So, yeah, I would say watch out. And they are always right, by the way. There is just a okay. thing about that. And he says, tell me what what else? Mm. Oh, man, he's so good. What? Tell me. What did you do? Hold on. Weird. Your dad feels like the rags to riches type of gentleman. Um, like he worked his butt off. I wouldn't say riches, but he worked his butt off for a while. Um to be, yeah, to be comfortable. Weird. Did he even like work in janitorial positions? Um, my dad's done all kinds of stuff. Um, janitorial. Yeah. I I, I'm, I don't think so, but he could. Oh, wait a minute. He was a, a handyman for a, a lot of years. He was this uh, yeah. Oh, he's a handyman. Okay. Yeah. He just keeps showing me like if somebody goes into a school or if somebody goes into a building and they're um, taking out like grates or removing lights and like yeah. all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, Maybe yeah, this is janitorial. And he's talking about the really long hours and he sure. he's a really good guy. Yeah. Your dad's not gone. So for right now, what questions do you have for me, if anything? Well, I wrote down a few general questions, uh, you know, like, is he happy where he is? I, I think he is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Uh, is he with me sometime? And you, you answered that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the next one, uh, when I, can he hear me when I speak out loud to him? Yeah. I would even say, too, if you want to do it internally. Okay. And the reason for, I mean, you can do it out loud. It's all like with me. So I'm asking him questions in my brain. Um, we can do it out loud and they hear you. But if you take that moment and you calm down, mm -hmm. you take that deep breath out. And then you ask inside or you talk inside. That's the connection. Okay. Well, I do it more internal than I do like out loud. Like I rarely Good. do it out, honestly. Good. Um, Good. And uh, the other thing uh, was, it, is there a way I could reach out to him uh, oh any, in any way, yeah. shape or form? Okay. So let me tell you what you need to do. So this is my, this is what I do with my daddy. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is my signs and symbols thing. I hate the whole, oh my God, there's a cardinal. That's great. I live in the country. There's fucking cardinals everywhere. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Okay, but yeah. So what I do is when I go to bed and I'm calmed down and I don't have my phone on and I'm trying to figure out how to fall asleep, I kind of calm myself down and I want you to do this too. And just say, dad, in your mind, say, dad, can you please come in and be with me? I would even ask for your other mother too because she's going to be sassy. Like she brought his ass in, I think. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And so what you do is you say, dad, can you pl please come in here and be with me for a second? Then what you do is you start remembering some really good memories, not the last time you saw him like good ones. OK, right. you start remembering them. Do that for about three to five minutes. That's conjuring. That's actually building the connection. And then what right. you do is I want you to choose um a random symbol or sign and we can start off basic first so i want you to in your mind i want you to picture a blue heart like see it plain as day and so i want you to say dad i would like you to show me this blue heart in my world in the next two days and i know that you're with me okay and then what you do is you turn over you can make a note on your phone i always like a notebook so you do like 2 29 2024 at 10 30 p.m i asked for a blue heart OK, and so you write that down. That's just saying like you actually did it. and You don't think you're crazy later on. And then you let right. it go. You don't Google oh. it. You don't do anything. And then it will show up. But when it does, you make a note of it. You take a picture, even listen for it verbally. Like maybe you're at the gym and somebody goes, man, it's like my heart's blue. And you'll be like, you're right, right, right. Is that OK? So that too. <laughs> but then when you get that symbol, you go home. You cross it out, you put the date that you saw it, and then you ask for another one that night, but you change it. So okay. you do a peacock, or you do a boxing glove, or you do Muhammad Ali. Yep. Okay, so gotcha. that's what you do. And then, no, so, so what does that do real quick? So that doesn't, the symbols are really cool. 
But what I'm teaching you to do as well is they can bring that into, into your world. But when you do that probably five, six, seven times and you keep getting responses, you're going to notice that every time when you see that symbol, you get a feeling. And that feeling is your dad. Okay. Okay. And so yep. then down the line, if you're, you know, someplace and you're nervous about something and you recognize that feeling, then you know that he's there with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's yep. what I'm teaching you to do. So let me look real quick. I'm, I'm late, but I want to look at your chart real quick. So um, my birthday is November 7th of 88. Yours is uh, May 26th of what year? 81. Woo. Okay. That's a good year too. And then I was born in H town. What about you? Uh, Yonkers, New York. I know exactly where that's at. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We we uh, we went up there and I was, well, when, like I said, going to New York one time. It was uh, for summer of like two years ago. And my husband was like, where do we want to go for like the dog days of summer? So like two weeks. And so I went on a map and I put my uh, finger down and we had to drive through Yonkers to get to um, what do they call it down there? Uh, it's in semi upstate New York. It's uh, God, it's where like the fishing is where the the Fish fly field? fishing capital no uh starts with an r starts with an r mm. i'll remember it in just a second and i'll email it to you um but anyways it's like almost on the border of the delaware river and it was uh, so freaking beautiful um but we drove through yonkers and i was like isn't this an interesting town um cool. it was very <laughs> cool um hold on let me look oh Okay, cool, cool, cool. You're born to be an artist. Yes. Yeah, you are. You're born to be an artist. Um, just that, that's what I want to see. So you're actually very soft and you're very nice and you're very friendly. Um, and, and you're very fun. Um, I just want to let you know that you do have a very soft side, but you can also get obsessed and have addiction issues. And that may be with everything from working out to sex to drugs to anything and the reason for that you and i are a lot alike um because you have a lot of libra and you have a lot of taurus energy and so what happens is you can get obsessed with the physical and you can get yep. obsessed with the feelings too both of them so you really have to watch out for that um the other thing too is that your moon your emotional side actually who you are is a pisces I knew you were watery. And so what this means is you're very feeling. You could actually do this as well if we just like felt. The other thing too is um, you can tend to get your heart hurt <laughs> very easily. But a lot of times what happens is we put this like heart in shell. Arr, I'm not going to get hurt. But you can, you're, you're very, very cool. I would like you to, if you were going to date anybody else, you'd be great with a musician. Yeah. FYI. Yeah. Or like another artist. And the reason for that is because you would both be able to be like entangled in like this feeling artistic web that would just be fantastic. Um, the other thing, too, is I think you are turning into um, your dad a little bit. Um, and I think you're doing a good job because your north node, what your soul is trying to become is a Leo. So essentially, I want you to look at that energy, what Leo is. Um, you're trying to become the best, the number one, the shining star. Um, you should also probably put your work on social media. You should do videos of it. You should put yourself out there more because of the fact that that is the highest vibration of you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Mr. Gunny Gunny, go and be a badass. And I will email this to you tomorrow. And I need you to take a couple moments and tell them you love them. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for everything. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Anytime. Bye, my friend.